imposing. Yeah, I mean, you uh, a, a couple of days ago, I think you were try you tried to add soft body capes to them, and that yes didn't work out too well, unfortunately. Okay, so one with soft bodies, um, the physics is okay, but it's not perfect. So yeah. if you turn 90 degrees, it'll turn with you. But if you change direction 180 degrees, it doesn't have time. It just gets caught in you. So that's annoying. Two, making <laughs> no soft case. bodies work in Godot is actually a little annoying. Three, the characters look less interesting. Mm, that, that's an interesting thing. And again, trying these things out, that's the only way you'll find out whether or not an idea up here translates to a good idea in practice. Yep. Um, so, this is supposed to be me developing, but it's just me showing various ideas and, and things and talking about the, the game or the project or, um, yeah. So Roderick says, uh, the music is awesome. Sound effects are great as always. So it took so long to find good good explosions. And then I went to free sound and I was like trying explosions and fireworks and all kinds of things. And then I found someone made a set of trance kick drums slash explosions. And like, it, I'm having them. Yeah. So because it, they're not realistic, but they've got that lovely bassy quality to them. Yes. I mean, having that presence in a game really does add to the overall feel and quality of a game. Um, a, a few months back when we were, well, maybe even like a year ago, um, I was playing Apex Legends quite a bit. And one of the things in that that drew me to it was the sound design of the weapons because they mm. felt present. They felt uh, meaty, that, that they had a good texture to them. Um, which is something you can't I, always describe. You know, it's a feeling rather than an actual thing. I mean, one of the things I like is, I mean, there's a few things happening with explosions, but if I, I don't know if you can see my screen right now. Yep, let me switch back over. Yep, so we're on the angled cam preview, and if I just do the shake, that's playing whenever a bomb goes off. Unless it's already playing, in which case it won't, right? We don't want stuttering. And all I'm doing is animating the FOV. So let's take a look. We have, are these, uh, yeah, we're using some easing as well. Um, so we start with an FOV of 70, which is default. We go up to 71, and then we curve back down. And I, I was playing with like the positioning stuff, but I, I found the FOV was all you needed because it just looked like you've just been pushed out the way. Yeah. Um, while that's happening, we also have, let's turn this off. It'll also have a slight distortion effect on the screen. Um, not a big one because it's not it's not going to be much this one's over quite that degree, subtle, and most people don't notice it. But it does add a lot. I didn't Just notice it of... even when you said it was there. I could not see it. A little bit of dust that falls down. Um, it's just one of those details that I really like because not having it there actually feels slightly different. But having it there means no one notice. But having that with the shake just works. Yeah, uh, little things like that do add up to a much better feeling game. They really do. There was also, if you guys haven't seen the video I, I did this week on how I made these explosions, um, it's up, it's on YouTube, it's free. Um, I was really pleased with how easy this came about, how well this came about. And it's actually quite a simple little animation, quite a simple little particle. Um, but especially given, and let me just stop this, I uh, can't, um, especially given how bad these... Yeah, if, actual images are. Imagine if the it's cape just me messing around a gimp. Imagine if the cape mm. got caught up in the bomb. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Thanks for so that, the Richie. The bomb man did have power ups to do things like be able to walk through bombs and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I don't want to copy it too much because you know you you, you want to make it something that's different and has its own reason to play. One of the things I did think was a level where on some paths you can wrap around, like have portals. That would be awesome. I, I I'm digging that uh, again. Uh, 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 sort of like the original Pac Man, you could go off one side. Of the... Did the original Pac Man have that? I don't know if the original had the ones I've played have. I'm too young for the original Pac Man. Not me. That's why I said I'm too young. <laughs> um, 